Queen Mary of Denmark. As always, shone with elegance as she appeared at the annual celebration of Copenhagen University on Friday. It was her first time as the guest of honor at this prestigious event, and her presence truly graced the celebration of the university's Foundation Day. Established in 1479, Mary wore an olive green dress by Beulah London, which featured a high slit that added a special charm to her look. Over the dress, the queen donned a latte bay brown cape by Oscar de la Renta, completing her outfit with high-heeled pumps by John Vieta Rossi and a mother-of-pearl bracelet by Dulong Fine Jewelry. These details highlighted her refined style. She was joined by University Rector Henrik C., Wiegener and Board Chair Marait Eldrup, who welcomed the queen in the Grand Hall. On that day, Queen Mary witnessed the proclamation of honorary doctorates and doctoral degrees and then listened to a lecture by Professor Lean Hansen from the Department of Political Science on the topic of international security and emotions. Throughout the event, Mary looked stunning and enjoyed interacting with members of the academic community. It should be noted that King Frederick was absent from this important event, raising questions among fans. On social media, a comment appeared asking, shouldn't the King of Denmark be present at such a significant event? However, on Tuesday, the king and his beautiful queen consort demonstrated their unity at an award ceremony after a series of solo appearances. Frederick and Mary smiled as they posed for photos on the red carpet at Vega Concert Hall in Copenhagen during the royal couple's award ceremony. At the event, the king and queen demonstrated their unity, openly displaying their warm affection for each other. During the awards presentation, they exchanged tender glances several times, and Frederick, smiling, held Mary's hand while she gave her speeches. This support was evident not only in their actions but also in small gestures when Frederick slightly adjusted her collar or when Mary looked at him gratefully during the audience's applause. That evening, Queen Mary chose an elegant black tuxedo jumpsuit by Max Mara with a silk lapel and yellow high-heeled shoes by Manolo Blahnik adding a bright accent to her look. She also carried a matching clutch, completing her stylish ensemble. King Frederick, in turn, looked dapper in a dark blue suit with a white shirt. The event was also significant because the royal couple announced a name change for the award to Royal Couples Awards, symbolizing their new status after ascending the throne in January this year. In a joint speech, Frederick and Mary emphasized, Today we bid farewell to the Crown Prince Couples Awards and welcome something new. Our values remain with us, and in the future, we will continue to support social initiatives, arts and culture, and communities that bring us together. After returning from vacation in Australia, Queen Mary looked rested and full of energy. Together with her daughter, Princess Josephine, she attended the annual Hubertus Hunt in Diary Haven which takes place on the first Sunday of November. Mary and Josephine, dressed in stylish autumn outfits, enjoyed the event and even posed for photos with winner Niels Goldschmidt and his horse. Mary wore a white turtleneck sweater, green corduroy trousers, and brown leather boots, completing the look with a gray hat and a Prada bag. The next day, Mary visited Medelfart, where she met with Danish hospital clowns who work with children undergoing treatment. The queen appeared in great spirits and couldn't hide her smile as the clowns entertained her with their performances. For this visit, Mary chose a silk blouse with a floral print by Erdem, which she paired with a black maxi skirt and gold earrings. The queen also held an award ceremony in honor of Children's Aid Day at Copenhagen City Hall. At this event, Mary appeared in a coral ankle-length dress, pairing it with a brown jacket and leopard print stilettos. Her hair was styled in soft waves, and her makeup highlighted her expressive eyes. Fans noted that Mary, despite everything, looked calm and confident. Queen Mary once again proved that she embodies sophisticated elegance and deep humanity. Her presence at various events, whether within the walls of Copenhagen Union University, at an award ceremony, or at meetings with children and hospital clowns reflects her tireless dedication and genuine care for people. Every outfit, every speech is not just a symbol of her royal status, but also an expression of a sincere connection with those around her.
Despite any circumstances, Queen Mary remains a symbol of confidence and elegance, inspiring many to be the best versions of themselves. Her warmth, genuine smile, and openness speak louder than words she is truly a people's queen, who not only reigns but also serves, putting her heart into every endeavor.